Hey guys, in this video I'll be ranking all of Jay Cutler's Olympia versions, 13 to be exact. Personally, Jay Cutler is one of my favorite bodybuilders of all time, physique wise and personality wise, so this video certainly will be a special one to make. I just want to tell you, uh, you know, congratulations on all the success. Um, I know you got a YouTube channel, uh, Jake Ultimate Fit, for the bodybuilding competitions and I just wanted to wish you all the best on that. Um, transforming the body, showing the progression, showing the good days and don't forget to show the bad days because we all go through the bad days, man. I can promise you that. Like always, these types of videos are super subjective, so if you do disagree with any of the placings, please let me know. Now, before the video does start, if you enjoy my content, please consider liking and subscribing as it does help grow my channel. Anyways, with that all being said, let's get into this video. Alright, starting off this video with the 13th spot, we have Jay's 2013 Olympia appearance. This was his so-called comeback year after losing the title in 2011 to the younger, fuller Phil Heath. Well, actually, his comeback year was 2009, but this was his second comeback year. Now, I am pretty sure he suffered some sort of biceps injury during his 2012 prep, which did make him, you know, unable to compete that year, so he was coming into this show with sort of a vengeance. Unfortunately, though, unlike in 2009, Jay was unable to bring a winning physique, coming in much smaller than in previous years. His asymmetrical biceps stood out like a sore thumb and his back had deteriorated even more than in 2011. I will say though, he came in great condition, however, he was very downsized and had a worn out look to his physique. Not a bad physique by any means, I mean, you know, top 6 is not shabby at all at the Mr. Olympia, however, compared to other years, he was certainly off. Speaking of being off, Jay's 07 version certainly was just that, landing in the 12th place spot. Here's the thing, he was super massive and freaky this year, however his condition was so off relative to his normal razor sharp conditioning. It is especially noticeable in the side leg and glutes where the details are washed out and just not up to par with what he normally would bring. Apart from conditioning, I think the real controversy really stems from him beating Victor Martinez. Personally, I really don't think his physique was all too bad in 07, however I do believe that Victor should have won. He was super conditioned and full with barely any weakness is, and you know, certainly less flaws than Jay. Alright, in the 11th place spot is Jay's 2008 Mr. Olympia second place. That's right, he lost the title to a much smaller, but more conditioned and proportional Dexter Jackson. Honestly, I've always believed that Jay brought an improved physique conditioning wise to the stage this year, you know, in comparison to his watery showing in 07. However, the real downfall of his physique this year has got to be his shape as his added mass threw off his overall proportions. Many people criticized his ever widening waistline, which really did hurt his overall flow. Personally, I thought he looked rather good this year, however, putting a 90% Jay Cutler up against an aesthetic, peeled, freaky, you know, Dexter Jackson only exposed his weaknesses. Starting off the top 10, here we have the 2011 second place finisher, Jay Cutler. Right off the bat, I'll tell you guys that he really brought great conditioning this year, along with great muscularity. The only weakness he had, which was a big one at that, was his age. His back had been continually creeping further and further up, his biceps were pretty, you know, asymmetrical, and his waistline had definitely widened. Overall though, he looked super polished and complete and stood head to head with arguably the best Phil Heath of all time. I do think he looked better than all the previous versions mentioned because he had the best combination of size, shape, and condition at this Olympia. In ninth place is Jay's 2000 Olympia version, his second ever Mr. Olympia where he took 8th place. Honestly, from here on out, Jay's Olympia versions were all really spectacular, so there really isn't much to say that is negative about this appearance. I will say that he wasn't nearly as conditioned as he was in 1999 or of course 2001, however his shape, aesthetics, and flow were top tier. There are barely any shots of him from this year though, so I can't really tell you if his back or side were any more or less conditioned, so this placing really comes down to his great frontal aesthetics. 
Speaking of aesthetics, in the 8th place spot is Jay's 1999 Olympia debut. This version of Jay has got to be one of my personal favorites as he had virtually zero flaws. Great V-taper, wide shoulders, full strided legs, super ripped glutes and hams, and just overall great development. He was certainly overlooked at this Olympia, placing 15th, however the caliber of competition and the amount of well-known names sort of had him lost within the mix. I genuinely believe that this leaner, more aesthetic version could beat other larger more massive versions however i am basing this list off of bodybuilding criteria so i think eighth is a really respectable placing in 7th place is Jay's last Olympia winning physique, the 2010 Mr. O. Although his proportions were clearly starting to become worse, he brought phenomenal grainy conditioning, freaky mass, and just dominated the stage. He was really able to outmuscle almost everyone on the stage and that dense muscle maturity only aided in his win. There really isn't much else to say about this year, just a good final win for Jay. Moving on to the 6th place spot, we have Jay Cutler's 2003 version. To be honest with you guys, the flaws from here on out are extremely small, so for instance this version is just slightly less conditioned than others in front of it. Now from the front he did bring superb separation and a thin skin, however his glutes and side leg were just a bit less peeled than in you know the other few versions in front of it. Now that's basically it, you know, he had great balance, mass, condition, and symmetry, and still kept his proportions in check. While this version is a great one in my opinion, it definitely does get overshadowed by Ronnie's absolutely mind-blowing, you know, dominating performance in 03. In 5th place is Jay Cutler's 04 version. Now the difference between this year and 03 was that his glutes and side legs appear to be a bit more conditioned. He also brought more mass this year which made him just a bit more competitive with Ronnie's sheer mass and density. Like I said with 03, I feel that 04 is also overshadowed by Ronnie's pure dominance since we all know that Ronnie brought an insanely large physique that year as well. I feel like many forget just how good Jay was during the midpoint of Ronnie and Jay's Olympia battles. And I wanted to place these two versions respectively to reflect the idea that he brought amazing packages in both years. In fourth place is Jay's 2006 Olympia version, the year he finally dethroned Ronnie King Coleman. Although this statement does hold a lot of weight and prestige, Jay did admit to beating an injured Ronnie. Obviously, Ronnie had clear atrophy in the lat and tricep, and Jay was able to exploit those weaknesses by showcasing better shape, comparable conditioning, and a more symmetrical back. He was super massive too and brought great condition, however, all that added mass did widen his waist just a tiny bit. Overall though, this version was still one of his best no doubt, and just the fact that this version dethroned Ronnie is enough to be this high up on the list. Going into the top 3, we have Jay's 05 version. You may be wondering, how is 05 better than 06? Looking at pictures, you'll notice that his midsection was much thinner, his quads looked more deeply separated, and overall he brought better condition. He looked super rock hard and, you know, grainy, showcasing insane fullness, and he had amazing proportions. Of course, though, like 03 and 04, Ronnie Coleman overshadowed Jay's amazing package, which is unfortunate since this was one of his best physiques in my opinion. Alright, I think you all know what two years this all boils down to. We've got 2001 and 2009, two years which many debate for being his best. First, let's take a look at 01. The reason this year is so popular is due to his amazing shape, flow, and aesthetics, along with the fact that he sort of came out of nowhere. He showed up with a great physique looking super fresh and full, and exposed Ronnie's weaknesses. Many people think he should have won that year as well, that's just how good he was. He did have some flaws though, which were a lack of striations in the glutes along with not the best lower back condition. These flaws are very minor in comparison to the positives that he brought to this Olympia, which in my opinion really overpowered and overshadowed his flaws. Moving on to 09, the comeback year, the original one, you can just see how conditioned and massive Jay was. Striations, deep cuts, and superb fullness almost everywhere, just an absolutely insane dominating comeback. There really isn't anything else to say, I mean you can clearly see for yourself how insane he looked, one of the most clear cut victories at the Olympia of all time in my opinion. 
All right, so you guys know the drill. There can only be one winner between these two, and personally, I'd have to give 09 the win. Sure, 01 has phenomenal shape and flow. However, if both were to go head to head on stage, 09 would surely win due to raw mass and condition. Moreover, I do prefer the freakier look on Jay, and in 09, he clearly brought it, and that lighting only made him look crazier. If you guys want to see a full comparison between 09 and 01, please check it out. It's on my channel. I do a more in depth comparison between the two and maybe you guys can understand where I'm coming from. Anyways guys, that does it for this video. Honestly, any version after the 7th place spot was just spectacular, world class, and just amazing, which goes to show you just how good Jay was. He was able to consistently bring world class packages, and even at his worst, he still managed to place top 6. With that all being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know which year was your favorite, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.